Hi, my name is Greg Teske, and I'll be talking to you today about the Mechanical Technician Tool and Die Maker program that we offer here at Conestoga College. The Mechanical Technician Tool and Die Maker program is a two-year Ontario College diploma program. We run that out of the Dune campus in Kitchener. And if you have any questions after you watch the video, my contact information is in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, please feel free to send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I'm the pro program coordinator for the Tool and Die Maker program, and I completed my apprenticeship at Conestoga in 2001. So after a little more industry experience, I wrote my certificate of qualification with my Red Seal endorsement in 2002. Since then, I've worked in automotive stamping, molding, and aerospace for about the last 20 years until I joined Conestoga in 2017. So there's four programs that fall under the Precision Metals Group. And I think it's important to look at them all uh, as a whole because the, the first two semesters of all of our programs are the same. So they, we've opened up a few pathways this way that allow you to move between one program and another. You know, just because you start in the precision machining and tooling program doesn't mean that you can't transfer into the general machinist or tool and die you know if your your needs change or you know your your desires change so we've got that option there for you right now we're going to take a look at the tool and die maker program this is offered in a non-co-op and a co-op diploma uh, as well so when you apply for this program you're going to apply to the non-co-op stream and then uh, you need to qualify to get into the co-op program. So that means you need a 65% session weighted average to uh, apply for the co-op stream. You don't have to, uh, the co-ops are entirely optional. We have uh, two work terms, so semester three, so work term and semester four. So if you're in the co-op program, you would go out into industry, you would you know, gain some work experience by working out, out in industry as well as collect a paycheck at the same time. If you're not in the co-op program, you would just have those semesters off. So you could you know, upgrade some courses that you know, maybe you had to retake again. Uh, you could find your own employment, uh, whatever, whatever suits your needs. After the co-op semesters, you come back for semester five and six. Uh, we get a little more involved into the CAD design, tool pathing, and advanced uh, tool making. This is where you really specialize as a tool and die maker, and then you graduate. So some highlights of this program, uh, it gives you a good understanding of manual machining, uh, grinding, milling, working on the lathe, as well as experience in CNC. You also learn the hand fitting techniques, uh, positioning, alignment of components uh, necessary for production of stamping dies. This program also covers the level one and level two uh, outcomes for the apprenticeship, for tool and die maker apprenticeship in Ontario. After completing this program, uh, you won't be required to uh, take the in school portion for the first two levels of your apprenticeship. You've already covered that with this program. As I mentioned before, the co-op stream is two back-to-back -back, uh, work terms, and those are paid work terms. And again, they're, they're completely optional. With this program, there's one intake per year. That's every September. So to be considered for this program, you need to make sure that your application has uh, been submitted before February 1st, and then when you get uh, an offer of acceptance back from the college, you need to confirm that uh, as soon as possible. Uh, there'll be a date in your confirmation letter as to when you need to uh, confirm your enrollment. This program is fairly popular. It fills up fairly quickly. So you wanna make sure when you get accepted to the program, you confirm as soon as you can so you don't lose a spot in this program. We use a bring your own device model for this program. So you're expected to supply your own laptop to run some of the, the specialized software that we use. 
and download instructions will be given for that software, uh, license keys if required. So everything you need to know about downloading the software is uh, provided to you. You just need to bring your own device to run it on. Uh, that device, uh, the software we use is requires a fairly robust computer. So you need a Microsoft Windows 10 64-bit Pro operating system. Our software will not run on a Mac operating system. It must be Windows. Uh, minimum eight gigs memory. And the other big thing is you need a discrete graphics card with at least two gigs of memory. The onboard graphics cards, the ones that are integrated into the motherboard, those don't work. You, you need a separate uh, video card. There's a virtual tour of the campus. It's a 66 slides, so you know I, I would advise you just to have a look through it. It covers all aspects of the campus and common areas. I've pulled out a few specific slides here that I think are you know, specific to our program. And I'll just show those to you right now. So here's our machine shop at Dune. Uh, this is our wire EDM. So you're gonna be using this one a, a fair bit in the tool and die program. Uh, here's our CNC area. We currently have seven CNC mills and six CNC lathes. And you'll be uh, getting exposed to these in your semester five and six in the, in the program. Here's some of the, the manual machines we'll be running. Uh, this is a picture of our Cambridge machine shop, but it's the same machines, same layout as our, our Doom machine shop. So this gives you an idea of the type of equipment you'll be running. And then uh, another thing we have is we have open access computer labs. So you can come at any time you know, maybe you've got a couple hours between classes, you want to get some, some school work done, you can pop into an open access lab and work away. There's also uh, awards and scholarships available through Student Financial Services. Uh, these ones are available to all students, and there's quite a number of them. All students, uh, all programs, and then towards the end of the, the list, we have some that are only available to our specific program. So type in your program, tool and die, and then we'll have a look here. So there's a, a few extra scholarships available uh, specific to the tool and die maker program. And, uh, how to apply and when to apply, that will all be communicated to you by the, the faculty when the, when the time comes. So as a tool and die maker, you're gonna be producing uh, jigs and fixtures, uh, checking gauges, stamping dies, you know, progressive transfer dies, that type of thing. You could uh, pursue an apprenticeship after graduation and become a licensed tool and die maker or find other employment you know, within the precision machining sector. If, you, if you've got some further questions, you, know, you could uh, go to the Job Bank website, you type in the position you want, so tool and die maker, and you can search you know, what jobs are available, what the salaries are in Ontario, maybe across the country, whatever. Uh, it's a really handy search tool for that. So some frequently asked questions, you know, are there any scholarships? So um, I briefly showed those to you and I've included a link here to our awards and scholarships page. Another question I get is what do I do if I'm not participating in the co-op semesters? So again, if you're not participating, you have those semesters off. So you don't have any classes for those two semesters. If you switch programs, do you have to retake courses? Uh, no, if you were to switch from, say, the general machinist to the tool and die program, as long as the course codes are the same, uh, you get automatic credit for those courses. You don't have to you know, do them over again. And who do you talk to if you have any questions? Please come and see me. Uh, send me an email and I'll answer any questions you have about the program. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the program, you can click on this link here. This brings you to the program homepage and it'll cover um, courses and 
fees, the course handbook or program handbook is in there as well. So you can have a look at that. So again, I look forward to seeing you at Conestoga and please, if you have any questions, send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching today and I'll talk to you later.